Hi everyone, this is Andrew Ty and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to build the native ARM version of Devolution X, which is an open source engine to run Diablo 1 on modern operating systems. The reason we're doing this is because the Devolution X release only provides the binary for the Mac operating system running under x86 underscore 64 bit, which is the Intel build of this game, which uses Rosetta 2 to run, and we want to be able to run this under native ARM code. So I'm going to show you how to do this. These instructions come from one of my viewers called Neymar PL, and they've actually talked me through step by step on how to build this natively. I've never built a binary like this before, so I just wanted to show you how I did it. So hopefully I can show that I can build an ARM open source engine without having to rely on the developers providing one, as there are plenty of open source engines that only provide the Intel builds of their games. So the very first thing that we need to do is to go to the top right hand corner of the screen and then type in the word terminal, and we can open up the terminal application. And we'll put this on the right hand side of the screen. And then what we're going to do is to install Homebrew. So I'm going to copy this command from the website brew.sh, copy this line here, and then we're going to ruinize this. Then we're going to control click on the screen here and click paste, and then return. Then we'll type in our password and then press return again. And this is going to install Homebrew. So this is just one of the dependencies that we need. When it's completed, we need to copy these two lines at the bottom here. We need to paste them here, and it sets the path. So when I type in the brew command, that's all working correctly. So the next thing that we need to do is to copy this first line here, which is cloning the devolution GitHub page. Here we're gonna control click and paste and press return. This is gonna make a copy of all the source code files that we need. Next we're gonna change directory, cd devolution x to go into the folder we just downloaded. Here we're gonna check everything's there. Then we're gonna type in the command brew bundle install. So that's gonna install our CMake and a load of other dependencies. When that's complete, what we're gonna do is to copy and paste these two lines. So I'll leave these in the description. I'm going to copy these lines here. Then we're going to control click and then paste the line here. Now that that's pasted, I'm going to press return. So now that this is 100% complete, I'm going to go to finder and then I'm going to navigate to my user folder and then we're going to double click on devolution X and then we're going to go to build. And here we have the devolution X application. I'm going to control click and get info. And this is devolution X. It is an Apple Silicon type. Here we can see this is devolution X 1.3.0. So you can see here that Devolution X is running under the kind Apple, so it's a native ARM application. And because it's using the later build, I can actually load up my monk character here. So here I've got the Hellfire expansion character running here, and this is only available on 1.3.0. Earlier builds, which are the Intel builds, won't actually support Hellfire correctly. This has all of the latest fixes for this game. So anyway, I hope you found this video useful. Hopefully I'll be able to apply what I've learned here to other open source engines. I hope you liked this video. I have other videos about open source engines running on the M1 Apple Silicon Mac. Please check out the other videos on my channel. If you like the video, please like, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.